Hey guys, it's me Masik Tech and this is the Motorola Moti. Today I will show you how to install Exposed Framework in this device. As many people have requested me to do this and you can do this process in the stock ROM and any custom ROM too. So my device currently has Sanjay Mode 12.1 and you can see the Android 5.1.1. You can do this process in KitKat version also. So but you need it custom recovery like TWRP recovery and many people have requested me so I am making the video for those people and also you can try other people can try this also so you have to go to this link link in the description box and and you have to download a zip file from here so actually I am making the video directly by installing the first time so I probably don't know which file will work with this actually I have I know that after installing the app I am recording the audio later so sdk22 arm dot zip file will work and you can see the name is appearing in the top right corner so download only this zip file don't download any other zip file i've shown in the video because i'm making the video directly from here and also you have to download expose installer apk uh, from my link link the decision box and you have to enable the advanced reboot option by tapping the bill number seven time go to developer option enable the advanced reboot option also root access to apps only or apps at adb and uh, if you have stock norm you will not see advanced reboot option you can also go to the recovery by power, powering off the device and go in the bootloader and go to the recovery after entering the recovery choose install and where you have downloaded this file we have downloaded this file in the internal storage and hit the ok button and after that uh, choose the sdk22 arm zip file uh, which will work so before that i have tried 86 and 23 zip file here and so i'm installing this so it will fail so it's not running so let's try another file and if you choose any other file like uh, this 86 version so it will also fail so let's choose the final sdk22 arm zip file so now it's installing and it will work so download this zip file only don't download the zip file I have downloaded all this file because I want to try this if it's working or not. So actually reboot the system now. So after rebooting the system wait for few minutes. And uh, the rebooting process is taking too much time and the device is rebooting from the past 10 minutes. And I actually make fast forward in this video. So now I'm going to power off the device because device is not bo booting up and it goes into boot loop. So now what to do, we have to power the device. Now I am rebooting the device again and uh, see if it's working. Now this time it starts and but it's optimizing some apps. So it will take uh, 10 minutes for the optimization of you can clear the cache and LV cache and you will not face the boot loop problem. But I forgot that part. So but uh, rebooting the device again will fix this problem. So now device is booting up as uh, device has booted up. Now we have to install the apk file expose installer and now go in the download directory where you have downloaded that file so here is the expose installer 3.0 alpha for apk now install this so after installing this uh, just uh, open this expose installer from the app drawer and now you will not face any problem like the framework is not installed in your device as dk22 is missing is not support uh, because we have already flashed the file so it will show here that uh, it's installed so you can see on the top framework version 78 is active so it's now installed so now i'm showing an example with an app so you can see that download we can download uh, modules here and install modules will show in the module section and uh, I will show you with an example like uh, this is a uh, module over here you can try this with any other file I will show you with the download to SD because it will change the directory of the um, downloading file and photos etc you can change the path also so let's open the expose installer and see in the modules where the installed uh, application will show up here so now we have to active this here and also after rebooting the device then change will take effect otherwise it will not so there is not any option like changing the default installation directory but we can change the uh, movies photos etc directory and we can download other framework from here so go to the download folder and we can download too many 
uh, modules application from here to tweaking the systems etc hit the back button and uh, you can see there's action widgets and also ad blocker so the ad blocker you can block the ads you show on the youtube videos and the website but uh, please guys don't use this ad blocker for my youtube channel because i am earning some money from the youtube videos by showing the ads if you block the ads you will not see my ads and uh, then i have to stop the youtube because i will not earn any money so guys please don't use for my video uh, youtube videos so you can download the bouncy box busy box etc so if you have to reboot the device after installing an app so the app will take change effect remember my choice and allow so this will work only rooted device and custom recovery so now device is booted up and we can now uh, use our app as we have installed so that's it guys thanks for watching if you enjoy this video make sure you uh, thumbs up down below if you haven't subscribed my channel so subscribe the channel for more tech videos if you want to join the whatsapp tech group and uh, note for the moto e and also for any type of tech queries you can join the whatsapp tech group just comment your number in the comment box and i will add you quickly in few hours so that's it uh, share this video with your friends i will catch you guys in my next one <laughs>